In today's video, we're going to discuss interest rate hikes and real estate investing in the summer of 2022. So as you probably heard in the last month, two months, we've now had two interest rate hikes, bringing the bank prime rate from 2.45% up to 3.7%, uh, um, a 1.25% increase. And now they're discussing a further interest rate hike in the month of July. And as per CBC, they're saying experts predict it'll be 0.75. Who knows? But that's likely going to be the case because right now we are seeing an incredible amount of inflation. Now, personally, I thought inflation was already there last year seeing prices of homes rise, price of rents rise, but now it has finally made it to the CPI, which is the Consumer Price Index. So they're saying in May it increased 7.7. Uh, the Ju June data is uh, yet to be released as of filming this. We're just in the first couple of days here of July, um, but that will be a key indicator to watch to see what the central bank will do in um, July in terms of interest rate hikes. So how does this impact real estate investing? Obviously, when interest rates rise, those of us with variable rate mortgages are seeing our monthly costs rise. Now, some banks are allowing you to make the same payment with less of your uh, payment going towards principal and more towards interest. If that's an option you have, I think that's amazing because you allow um, you essentially extend the mortgage while keeping your payments low, which is great to increase the cash flow in the present, uh, but not all banks allow that. Um, however, if you're buying a new property, you have to pay the higher monthly payment. Now, so how does that impact um, rental properties? So here's a property that I am I was looking at uh, actually purchasing myself. It is a property in the premium part of Welland. So this is uh, Niagara College is over here. This is north. Uh, east of Niagara College, just north of Seaway Mall, premium, premium neighborhood. Uh, this is a property, a full raised bungalow detached property built in 2005. Uh, it's been on the market now for 57 days and it's listed at $699. So the price has been reduced since it was initially listed. If we take a look at a few photos, so you can see nice corner property, uh, garage. It's already split into two units. The listing says it's a legal duplex. I don't believe them. Um, but anyways, uh, to legalize a property like this should be pretty straightforward. Already has a kitchen. And the best part about this property is that they are saying they will be able to provide vacant possession. I believe the upper is already vacant and the basement is going to be vacant in the next little while. So how does this property stack up now with these higher interest rates? So this is the most important thing that I'm watching for. At the purchase, at the list price, if you were to put the standard 20% down payment, land transfer tax, legal fees, your investment's about 152000 If we plug in an interest rate of 3.95%, so that is assuming that this interest rate hike of 0.75% happens, so that the prime rate goes up to 4.45%, and we're assuming you can get a variable rate mortgage with a 0.5% discount, so 3.95%. If that were the case, we're going to estimate some rents here that may be a little bit on the conservative side. We have had rents for upper levels go as high as 2200 now, but those were for premium units. So I'm going to assume 1950, which is a number we've hit multiple times, 1650 for the lower, same. Um, so 3600 in rent. Your mortgage payment is 2643. This amount is a lot higher than it used to be due to the higher interest rates. Property taxes, we got that from the listing. Insurance, just an estimate that we usually use. Water and gas, 250. These numbers also may go higher due to inflation, due to natural gas prices rising. Um, but anyways, with these numbers, the monthly cash flow is $187. Now, if you've been following the work we've done, we typically have a minimum we try to aim for of around $500 a monthly cash flow. Anything less than that, I think is 
a little bit too lean in terms of having a margin of safety. And when it comes to investing, you want to have some cash flow. This is not necessarily profit, but rather an insurance against you putting money into the property, be it from further rate hikes, be it from miscellaneous expenses that may come from the property. You want to have staying power in real estate. And that is what I'm looking for when it comes to monthly cash flow. So buying now, buying a property like this, and this is a good property, it may even be a great investment if I were to purchase it now. The one thing is it is a speculation. There's two factors right now to consider. Either interest rates rising will cause house prices to decline further or inflation, the inflation of the building materials, the inflation of rents, right, will cause prices to increase further. So these two forces are fighting each other. And at the end, I believe properties like this will cash flow again. That is my thesis. So how we get there is the question. And if you buy now, you're speculating that inflation is going to win over interest rate hikes. So you're going to see higher real estate prices and higher rents, therefore making it a good investment to purchase now. If you don't purchase now, you're making a bet that interest rates rising is going to cause house prices to decline further and therefore make it a cheaper purchase price. So even at the higher interest rates, the property should still cash flow. I'm in the business of investing. I don't like speculation. So even back in 2016, 2017, um, you could have bought uh, pre-construction condominiums in Toronto that had negative cash flow on the purchase, but positive cash flow in a few years if you were to uh, project uh, rents rising due to inflation. I didn't like that type of investment because I want to know that on my purchase, I am cash flow positive. Now, some of the properties that we've sold and that even I own are getting close to break even due to rates rising. That's okay by me. That's one of the risks that come with owning real estate. However, on the purchase, I need to know that it's going to have a margin of safety. So uh, right now, I'm refinancing my properties. I'm holding cash. I'm waiting to see how this plays out. And once I can make a purchase on properties that have positive cash flow from day one, whatever the interest rate is, whatever the rents are, right, it has to be a profitable investment from the get go. That's when I'll be taking action. So I think that time is coming soon, whether it's in the next couple of months, whether it's in six months, one year, who knows. But right now, my message to all our clients is, you know, have your um, ducks in a row, right? Get your mortgage pre-approved, refinance properties that you need to refinance to pull equity out, keep it in cash, have it ready. And if and when the right opportunities come along, and even now there are a few opportunities that are cash flow positive, we are still purchasing those properties, but they're few and far between. There's a lot of listings, there's not a lot of great opportunities. So now is the time to definitely be picky, be selective, find the right properties to enter. And I'm actually like, if this property, if I were able to purchase this property with a $500 cash flow, I would be all over it. This is a really high quality property in a really good neighborhood. And maybe not buying it at this price will end up being a mistake. But at the end of the day, I need to buy properties that are profitable from day one. So that is my investment philosophy. Uh, I'll leave the links to these articles in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you are interested in having a conversation and discussing more about real estate investing with my real estate team, Team Koken, um, there's a link in the description below on our beginner's guide to investing in the Niagara region. Once you get a copy of that, uh, you can also connect with our real estate team. Hope you found that helpful. Until next time, all the best.